Okay, so cardiovascular training of different durations and intensities involving different durations of rest are one category that we're going to talk about today. The other category of exercise we're going to talk about today is resistance training. Okay, so set aside any kind of, you know, like eye rolls or chuckles that you might have about single leg leg extensions as the total form of resistance training that's being explored because yes, those studies are still informative. In fact, they perhaps even identified the lower threshold for the amount of resistance training and type of resistance training that could benefit the brain. I'll actually tell you this right off the bat. There are good data showing that if people do six second sprints, max all out sprints on a stationary bicycle, followed by one minute rest and repeat that six times, you see significant acute effects on brain performance. So the brain performance could be a memory task. Sometimes it is a memory task. It could be what's called a Stroop task, which is a cognitive flexibility task where you have to distinguish between the colors that words are written in and the content of the words. Okay, so-called Stroop task. I've talked about this on previous podcasts. And the answer is arousal. However, the answer isn't entirely arousal, meaning not all of the positive effects of exercise on brain health, longevity, and performance can be explained by arousal. But when I step back from the literature, again, an enormous literature, tens of thousands of peer-reviewed papers, many of which are done exceptionally well, by the way, as well as meta-analyses and reviews, I think it's fair to say that probably 60 to 70% of the effects of exercise on brain health, performance, and longevity can be explained by the specific shifts in our physiology, both bodily physiology and directly within the brain's physiology during those bouts of exercise, which is this increase in so-called autonomic arousal, which occurs during the exercise, but also extends into a window after the exercise is completed. So we have to talk about this relationship between exercise, arousal, and acute brain performance, meaning the improvements in brain performance that happen immediately after the exercise.